Lesson 3.4, Count and Write to 7. In this lesson, we count and write the number 7 in the word 7, right and left-handed. Here are 7 umbrellas. 7 is a 5 and 2 more. We can see we have a 5 frame that's full, that's 5, and we have 2 more down here. There are one, two, three, four, five umbrellas on the top row, and one, two umbrellas on the bottom row. We can spell the word seven, S-E-V-E-N. This is the number seven. For the right-handed students, let's trace the number seven. We start over here. We pull our pencil back towards us, and we go down on a slant. We pull our pencil towards us up here, then we go down on a slant to the bottom line. Let's try it for the left-hand students. The way I do it with my left hand is I go push the pencil away across the top line, then I pull it down on an angle like that. I push it away, and I go down on an angle. And as we saw in the last video, you might want to start here and pull it towards you, then come back and come down. It's up to you. And it, if you make a pretty seven and everyone can read it, then that's fine if that's comfortable for you. We can write the number seven with our right hand. We start here. We come across the top and we go down on a slant. So we can start here. We come across the top and we go down on a slant. Let's try it again. We start at the top. We make a line along the top like that and then we go down on a slant. And we can write the word seven, S-E-V-E-N. We start at the dashed line. And we make our S by coming around and then going the other way and coming around. We make our E by starting here in the middle between this dash line and the bottom line. We come towards our hand and then up and around. We make our V by going here and doing a little slant and then another slant coming up the other way for the V. And then for the E, we start here. We come towards our hand and up and around. And for the N, we start here, we go down, we bounce around, back down to the line, seven. For our left hand, like this, we can either start here and pull it towards our hand, then go back and come down on an angle, or we can start here, like the right-handed students, push it away and then come down on an angle. This is how I do it. Whichever way is more comfortable for you. So we can start here, pull it towards our hand, come back to where we started, and then come down on an angle, or we can Make our line across the top like the right-handed students and then come down on an angle like that to the bottom line. We have the word seven, S-E-V-E-N. This is how I write it with my left hand. I start here for the S to the dashed line and I go around and then I go the other way. That's a S. For the E, I push away and then go up around. For the V, I start here with a slanted line, and then I go up to the dashed line with another slanted line. And some left-handed students are going to want to start here and pull it towards their hand. That's okay, as long as they leave enough room. But I'm left-handed. A lot of left-handed people write different ways. I start like the right-handed people do. I go down and then up. We make another E by going across and around. We make an N by starting at the dashed line, coming down, bouncing around to the bottom line, seven. Here we have two families. We have this family and this family. We need to count and write the number of people in the families. Then we need to circle the family with seven people. The easiest way to count people is to count the heads. We count one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six people in this family. We can write six. 
Let's count the people in this family. Now, be careful, because there's a little girl on her dad's shoulders, isn't there, right, right up here? So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's seven people in that family. And we can write the seven. Now, it says we're supposed to circle the family with seven people. That would be this family. We need to circle this family. That's the family with seven people. Here we have a group of kites, we have some toy boats, and we have some toy rocket ships. We need to count and write the number. Let's count the kites. I see three coming down in this column and three coming down in this column. We can count one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more makes seven. We can write the number seven. Let's count the boats. You want to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six boats. We can write the six. Let's count the toy rockets. Let's start at the top and remember where we're starting so we don't count that rocket. By mistake, we don't want to count it again. So if we start here, then we know we're going to stop here. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven toy rockets. And we can write the number seven. There's seven kites, six boats, and seven rockets. So remember, when we have a full five frame and two underneath, that's seven. We had five on the top row and two more on the bottom row. And you can practice writing the number seven and the word seven. Our next lesson, 3.5, we're going to model and count to eight. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.